Yeah, we start the class. Sahana Babatu, Sahano Bunotu, Sahavidium Karava Vahay, Tejas Vina Vadi Tamas Tuma with Visha Vahay, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Hari Om Sri Guru Jona Hari Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Deva Param Brahma Prasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kamsacha Nora Madhanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishna Bandi Jagatpuram Samasta Janakalyani Niratam Karuna Mayam Namami Chin Mayam Devam Sadhurum Brahma Vitparam Sadhurum Brahma Vitparam Srutis Matipurana Nam Alayam Karuna Layam Namami Bhagavad Pada Shankaram, Loka Shankaram. Great. Truth is always one. When you try to express the same truth, it assumes manifold forms. Sometimes it, it was necessary, sometimes it's projected like that, even by us. When we have to say something, you try to camouflage several things and try to put it. Our Tapavan Maharaj, though he left Himalayas very young, younger than that, probably his college days or school days, he was a uh, speaker in political platforms. He suddenly stopped. He says, when you talk to audience, you feel like pleasing them. I, so I don't want. And he stopped it. So that way, one truth becomes many faceted when you try to express. When you try to express. Truth is simple, expressions or falsehood is complicated and varied. What is the truth? There is only one truth. Always truth can be one. What is that truth? If it is one, it's absolute. It's infinite. It's eternal. And therefore, no insecurity. Therefore, no agitations. Peaceful, blissful. So this is the truth. Eternal, blissful consciousness. That is the truth. That is the truth of me. That is the truth of you. That is the truth of all. That is the truth of all falsehood too. That is the truth of all falsehood too. 
mind is formed when the inherent forms of bhagavan parade before him these forms enlivened animated by bhagavan's presence assume individuality and therefore multiplicity therefore insecurity and that is the formation beginning of the formation of the mind to assume the individuality this mind is made by bhagavan because for external world for your transactions you need to see things outside otherwise you will meet with an accident you have to hear the horn of the driver if you don't see if you don't hear you can't transact so he made this mind extrovert at the same time it can be extrovert without losing sight of its original being without losing sight of its original being like a great actor when he is acting as a beggar he never forgets that his porsche car is waiting there acting as a beggar he never forgets what happens if person who is acting as narasimha forgets his original uh, this thing what happens if narasimha forgets ask kausi her ishta devata narasimha he will tear off the person on his lap so it's meant to be extrovert not losing sight of its original glory but this mind is fascinated by the variety and plurality it loses sight of its real being and it's very strange firstly the mind itself being consciousness is blissful next it forgets that such as outside third what is it searching that we take away the bliss that you are that conceals the blissful nature of yours you are courting all the time death and sorrow wanting to be immortal and blissful you were all the time courting death and sorrow wanting to be immortal and blissful this very ironic that's why it's called maya that's why it's called maya recently i read a message somewhere if desire is fulfilled it won't stop there a new desire is brought if desire is not fulfilled there are agitations so what is the net result of a desire all the time be agitated that is the net results of a desire when i have no class i want a class when i get a class i want to see that i finish it what is this net results no peace you want a class and when you get a class you want to see when you will finish it right so that is the nature of this desires mind so what do you do what do you do stop doing everything you are that you don't have to do anything stop doing everything you are that 
you know i have grown up mostly even from childhood in teachers houses and all that i used to go there stay there sleep there i always had this uh, uh, samskara or vasana to be attached to teachers one such teacher was a hindi teacher he will get work done by all students when i say sir i want to do this he says no no you keep quiet that's enough help for us <laughs> <laughs> you keep quiet that is enough help for us <laughs> right similarly stop searching stop running after you are blissful peaceful which you experience in your sleep every day in your sleep every day So for this, you have to withdraw from all the seen world. Focus to the seer. Stay there. Focus to the seer. Stay there. This is all Vedanta. Vedanta says you are blissful, immortal self. You are missing that by running after your shadow. Stop running after the shadow. withdraw your mind from the shadow turn it to the light in you or the light that you are it's all but since our mind is in various things even when we are listening to the class while listening to the class when we are sitting before mahatmas like gurudev even then our mind will be running somewhere so they go on giving it many 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 forms repeating it so that by accident something will go into you and that is why this shastra is said in so many ways yatha indriyehi अर्थ बहुगुणाश्रय नानाइयते तदा भगवान् शास्त्रवर्तम जस्ट वन ऑब्जेक्ट सीन थ्रू मेनी फोल्स अपीयर्स मेनी फोल सो ऑल्सो द इनफिनिट भगवान् Three to the limited senses in the mind appears to be many and different, and that is why so many philosophies. That is the reason of so many philosophies. Are they wrong? No. Everybody is right. Even few blind people are touching the elephant. Somebody says it's like a pillar. Correct. Somebody says it's like a wall. Correct. Somebody says it's like a rope. Correct. all are correct but when do you get the correct picture when you have the vision so also whoever talks about bhagwan whatever they talk they have some concept they are right but when you experience that you get the actual this thing what do you get when you experience that there is no bhagwan that's what you get i alone am there i alone am there there is no bhagwan there is no world world has merged into me bhagwan has merged into me i alone am there this you get when you start practicing when you go on listening without practicing you could have spent that time in a better way without practicing merely listening that time could have been more useful with fred at least so that is what we have been dealing vairagya abhyasa viveka vairagya and trying to control the desires because desires are our enemy 
they come as guests and friends and try stay there to loot all of us. So that Vivek Chodamani has been repeating in many, many forms to us. Why do, why do they repeat? Especially in Vivek Chodamani, lot of repetition, mostly repetition. Why? Does not Sri Shankara, the great and the mighty, know that people will feel its repetition? He knows. He knows. He knows he will comment also. But he doesn't care. Because for him, what you think, what you talk is not important. What you become is important. Their love ignores all your opinions and comments. So, now with that, let us go into the text. Do Vek Chodamani up to 380 slokas, you will get Mukti. I am getting it today. And somebody will be bound for the next 200 slokas. <laughs> hmm. Nitya Advaya Akanda Chit Yeka Rupaha Buddhya Adi Sakshi Sadasat Vilakchanaha Aham Pada Pratyaya Lakshitartaha Pratyak Sadananda Ghanaha Paratma Paratma Supreme Atman What is Supreme Atman? What is inferior Atman? Annamaya is also Atman. Why? There is nothing other than Atman. He alone is there. Body is also Atman. Right? Next, Manomaya is also Atman. Buddhi, Vijnanamaya is also Atman. Anandamaya is also Atman. But they are all manifestations of the one truth. Different expressions. Different expressions. Greater than body is mind, greater than mind is intellect, greater than intellect is vasanas, greater than all of them is paramatman. Beyond that, there is nothing. Beyond the body is the mind, beyond the mind is the intellect, beyond the intellect is the vasanas, beyond the vasanas is Bhagavan, beyond vasanas, there is nothing. We had a Swami, Purushottamananda, pure Maharashtrian. He doesn't know any other South Indian language. Some movie picked two words in Telugu. Somewhere probably he went for a hikna. He will say, Shariram Tarvata Manasu, Manas Tarvata Buddhi, Buddhi Tarvata Vasanas, Vasanas Tarvata Brahman, Brahman Tarvata Ledu. He learnt only two words, Tarvata and Ledu. Finished Vedanta. Only two words he learnt. Tarvata and Ledu. Vedanta finished. So, Nitya Advaya Akanda Chid Yeka Rupaha. Nitya eternal. Advaya non dual. Akanda indivisible. Yeka Rupaha. One Kevala. Buddha the Sakshi. Witness of all. Lower things starting from intellect onwards. Sat asad vilakchanaha, different from cause and effect, or manifest and unmanifest. Aham pada pratyaya lakshitartha. It's the implied meaning of the word I. That's the implied meaning. Pratyak sadananda ganaha, the inward. Mass of eternal bliss. Paratma, the supreme Atman, other than the lower Atmans, upper Atmans and Paratman. Right? Glorious, you know, Atma. As long as you say Atma is glorious, 
you will ever you have chosen to remain a purvakalidas right you have to say that's not atma that's me that's okay atma okay you say that but that's me as long as you go on saying bhagwan atma you will only remain in words shabda brahman you have to go beyond shabda brahman so i don't i don't glorify bhagwan there is no other way to go beyond bhagwan than to hold down to him devoted to him and glorify him there is no other way but that's a means who you are a blasphemer if i am a blasphemer krishna is more because in bhagavatam he says that in many places he says as long as you have a feeling you are different i am different that's inferior bhakti he says right so whenever you read like this you should know it's you you have to identify that chidamanand rupah shivoham shivoham shivo ittham vipachit sadasad vibhajya nischitya tattvam निजबोधदृष्ट्यात्मा what is shadow what is real ittam vipaschit satasad vibhajya trying to discriminate between the real and the unreal nischitya having come to conclusion tatvam this is the essence nijabodha drushtya through your intuitive understanding natva having understood swam atmanam yourself to be that akanda bodham that indivisible knowledge ye byo mukta thru that free from avarana and vikshep vikshepa te byo vimukta swayam eva shanyati you will be peace what do you do to go to sleep what do you go do to go to sleep oh i i am i am now going to sleep come off from the friend circle come home come up from the family sitting and watching the tv come to your bedroom come up from your dress lie down have what thought i am going to sleep i am going to sleep i am going to sleep will you sleep you have to drop that one thought also you have to drop that one thought also so that is it till the last thought as gurudev puts it for our understanding till the last thought is thoughted off right till everything is dropped you will not be able to sleep so is samadhi so is samadhi you renounce everything but you don't renounce the idea that you are renouncing kartrutva bhuktrutva bhavana that was the problem with bali maharaj a great person but he had the feeling he is the giver bhagwan showed him what is yours who are you to give whole thing belongs to me what are you giving you can give me only one thing the idea that you are the giver and therefore bali maharaj gave his head because that's where ideas are there and bhagwan took off his ego and made him greater than indra and worship 
throughout Kerala on Onam Day. Va Vamana is worshipped, right? But Vamana cannot be there without Bali Maharaj. Like Rama cannot be there without Ravana. Can you write Rama and without Ra Ravana? This is what it says in Kambaramayana. When everybody says he will be killed, he says so what? As long as Ra they sing the glories of Rama, they have to sing my glories too. Hmm? That's why Gurudev says, always be an extremist. Too good or too bad, don't be a mediocre. If you are too bad, Krishna will come and save you. If you are too good, you will already merge. This via media doesn't help. Now, what is that state of Swayameva Shamyati, that state of bliss, that state of peace? Swayameva Shamyati, what is that? Ajnana Hudaya Grandihi Nishesha Vilayastada Samadhina Avikalpena Yadha Advaita Atma Darshanam Yadha Advaita Atma Darshanam. When Nishesha Vilayastada, what? Agnana Rudaya Grandhi. Rudaya Grandhi. Rudaya Heart. Grandhi Not. Rudaya Grandhi Not Sadi Heart. Not K and O T. Not Sadi Heart. Are you heart le not irka? Apo problem doctor ke to pono. Heart le not irna. Ama doctor ke to pono. Yende doctor ke to pono. Marubadiyo not varam seyer doctor ke to pono. Marubadiyo not varam seyer doctor ke to pono. Otherwise, in the doctor ke to pono marubadiyo moon version ke shuvaram. Rudeya Grandhi. What is that knot? Why it's called a knot? What is a knot? That which binds you. That which binds you. What are all the things that is binding you? Two things are very important that are binding you. Your thought that you are bound is the first knot. You were thought that you were bound is the first knot. Second knot, you want to be released from it. Very subtle points. You have to think. You were thought that you were bound is the first knot. Second thought, you have to be released is the second bondage. Why? These two happens only when you identify yourself with the body, with the mind. Therefore, you have to drop these two. When will you drop these two? Because you are bound by them. What? You think, you say, I am bound. I, I want to be liberated. Bound by what? Bound by what? Food. Food is staying there in one corner. How does it bind you? It's separate from you. How does it bind you? Oh, I am bound by this TV. TV cannot operate without ever putting the switch. Right? Oh, I am obsessed with music. All of them, sir, you are going after them. They are not running after you. None of them are running after you. So who created your bondage? You. Therefore, who has to release it? You. Why did you create that bondage? 
You wanted happiness. Fair. What is wrong in wanting happiness? Nothing wrong. But in wanting the happiness, you are missing the happiness that you are focusing outside. Withdraw the focus from outside and discover the happiness that you are running after is your self. Is your self. So the bondage is my choosing things other than me and therefore paratantra become dependent, withdraw, become swatantra, become independent, your own dependent, self relates Swatantra, Paratantra. What are all the Paratantras? Anything external to you, the body, the mind, the intellect, your honor, your knowledge, all are Paratantra. Your knowledge itself is a bondage. As you go on contemplating, progressing, you will understand they are very subtle. Your very knowledge is a bondage. Your honor is a bondage. What happens after the class today? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appa. Somebody says only that much. Thank you, sir. Appa. What happens? My peace is gone. Where does my peace lie? With your appa. What a type of peace it is. It naturally goes to pieces. Right? Hey, class is over. I close the class. Say bye. I don't thereafter listen what you are talking. That's my freedom. Why should I curtail your freedom to talk about me? That's your freedom. How does, why should it bother me? Why I am giving these examples for you to clearly understand it's I that bind myself, nobody else. Why? Because I don't know I am full. Ignorance of my real nature make me believe I am the limited individual Therefore, inadequacy, therefore, desires, therefore, action. Avidya, ignorance. Desires, karma. Actions, karma. These three bind you. They are only one, expressions. Avidya expresses, avidya at spiritual level, expresses as desire at the intellectual level, as karma at the physical level. These three are called not sati heart, Rudaya Grandhi. Rudaya Grandhi. Right? So, when you have withdrawn from all of them and merged back all of them into the consciousness, that's called Samadhi. What is Samadhi? Which, those is the plurality, sees only the one in all of them. Though you see the wave and the bubble and the ocean, see only water, a wise man. A wise man sees only water in the wave and the bubble and the ocean. Wave doesn't have to die. Bubble has doesn't have to die. They can be as they are. Right? But you see only one. So also, a wise man sees the plurality. But he sees himself alone expressing in all of them. That is called Samadhi. D is intellect. Samadhi is that which holds the same state of consciousness in all variations is Samadhi. That's also called nirvikalpa, avikalpena, nirvikalpa. So nirvikalpa is not 
can be, but not necessary. In seat of meditation, no thoughts at all. You can say nirvikalpa. But while you are working, also you can be in nirvikalpa. When you are seeing only God everywhere, nothing else, like seeing the water. When you have no doubt about the truth, when you have no agitations, it's nirvikalpa. Vikalpa has different meanings, differences, agitations. Differences, agitations, plurality, doubts, all these are vikalpa. When you have no doubt, when you have no agitation, when you see the one, it's nirvikalpa samadhi. That nirvikalpa samadhi is also called sahaja samadhi, natural state of consciousness. He can see the plurality, but he sees only one. That is the nirvikalpa samadhi. Not having thoughts, okay, right. In the meditation seat, you can. But it also can be got by uh, Hatha Yoga. Do Kumbhaka, arrest your breath for one minute, see whether there are thoughts. You won't have thoughts. That is not nirvikalpa samadhi. Through Kumbhaka also, you can arrest the thoughts. But that is not nirvikalpa samadhi. That is only mano laya. Through vichara, when you see only one, that is mano nasha. I have only three minutes and I have done only three slokas. Anyway, I will try to finish it. I may take 10 minutes more. Tvam aham idam itiyam kalpana buddhi dosha prabhavati paramatma paramatmani advaye nirviseshe pravilisati samadhau asya sarvo vikalpo vilayanam vilayanam upagachet vastu tattva vastu tattva vrutya Right. So, he, here he gives little more hints. What are the vikalpas? Tvam, you, aham, I, idam, this, itiyam. All these concepts, kalpana, or imaginations of buddhi dosha, of the intellect. Intellect is to discriminate. Discrimination is variations, multiplicity. So it's all kalpana. Prabhavanti, they arise. Paramatmani, advaye, in the one non-dual truth, like the multiple dream world rises from the one waker who is sleeping. Like the multiplicity of the waves and the bubbles rise from the one water. Shanto, danta, paramapur, Param uh, Param Uparataha Chanti Yukta Samadhim Kurvan Nityam Kalayati Yitighi Swaswa Swatm Swatmabhavam Tena Avidya Timira Jenita Jenitam Sadhu Dagva Vikalpan Brahma Krutya Nivasati Sukam Nishkriyo Nirvikalpa Nivasati Sukam Nishkriyaha Nirvikalpaha without any agitations that is kriya doing action itself is not kriya the kriya that produces friction egocentric actions egocentric desires free from all that losing all differences seeing one brahman is the samadhi Samahita ye pravilapya bhakyam slotra dicheta swamaham chidatmani tayeva mukta bhava pasha bande nanye tu paroksha kada vidhayana paroksha kada vidhayana people who are indulging in trying to acquire shastra jnana they don't get this he says paroksha kada vidhayana 
gaining only shastric knowledge without trying to realize it inside yourself for that you have to dissolve all forms into you pravilapya bhakyam all seen world into you like the srotradi the sounds etc where do you merge chidatmani in your blissful self and then what happens mukta you become free upadi veda swayam eva vidyate sopadi po so so sopadi apohe swayam eva kevala tasmat upadhe vilayaya vidwan vaset sada akalpa samadhi nishtaya these differences are because of the conditionings one space becomes the room space part space hall space etc because of the walls remove the walls it's one space because you see the consciousness existence through the body mind intellect these upadis it appears to be different withdraw from these conditionings you will see the one indivisible truth sati sakto naro yati sadbhavam ek nishtaya kitako bhramaram dhyayan bhramat bhramar tatvaya kalpate padesh what you have to do is bhramara kita nyaya bhramara kita nyaya atma bodh gurudev is doing he will come to that very shortly that is the vast pandibi the vast is kept in a mud hole by the bee it cannot come out it peeps out mother stings very painful it goes out again comes it stings go on stinging that go on hating the mother contemplating on that and is trying to develop like the mother finally it becomes the mother because of constant meditation so it comes out first thing to kill is the mother bee you are contemplating on narayana continuously the first thing you have to kill is the mother ego ignorance kriya antara sakti apa sakita ko dhyayan nitya ali ali bhava murchati dhyayanta alim b kitaka ali bhava murchati it gains the nature of the b tatayev yogi paramatma tattvam dhyatva samayati tadek nishtaya same thing a yogi a meditator should get completely focusing on paramatma devakavaa ativa sukmam paramatma tattvam nastula drushtya pratipatu markati samadhana atyanta susukma vrutya gnatavyam gnatavyam argehi ati shuddha buddhihi this cannot be got through gross analysis of logics it's a subtle art you have to bring the head and the heart together and through intuition only you can learn to remove the stones from the grains is easy but to remove the milk the water from the milk is not easy so you have to develop your faculties through upasana extra ati eva sukmam paramatma tattvam that's vova yatha suvarnam putapaka shoditam tyaktva malam swatma gunam samruchyati तथा मन सत्जस्तमो मल ध्यान सत्यज समेति तत्व जस्ट एस दि इंप्यूरीटी ऑफ दि गोल ड्राप बै दि हीटिंग इट अफ सो आलो थ्रू दि हीट जनरेटेड थ्रू मेडिटेशन यू विल ड्राप ऑल युवर मला सत्जोतमो गुणा निरंतर अभ्यास अभ्यास वशा तम पक्व मनो ब्रह्म निलीयते यदा तदा समाधि सविकल्पवर्जित स्वतो अद्वयानंद रसानुभावक तदिथम दिस इज दैट व्हेन यू कम टू डायरेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस एंड नो दैट दैट्स कॉल्ड समाधि समाधिना अनेन समस्त वासना ग्रंथे विनाशो अखिल कर्म नाशः अंतर्बहि सर्वत्र एव सर्वदा स्वरूप विस्फूर्ति अयत्नतः स्यात् अयत्नतः विदाउट एफर्ट विस्फूर्ति इट मैनिफेस्ट 
when antarbahi sarvata uh, eva sarvada in all directions when samadina through this state of meditations samasta vasana all ever vasanas grandhe vinashi and hrude grandhi is destroyed akila karma nashaha all ever prarabdha karma sanchita karma are also lost at that time you experience this shrute he shatagunam vidyan mananam mananadapi nididhyasam laksha guna manantam nirvikalpakam hundred times greater is reflection than hearing and one lakh times greater is meditation than uh, reflection nirvikalpa samadhina sputam brahma tattva avagamyate dhruvam nanyata chalataya manogate he prat if you do not withdraw and focus on the self and meditate the mind will get mixed up with all forms and you will not get samadhi ataha samadhastva hitendriyam san nirantaram shanta mana pratichi vidvansva dvanta mana adya vidyaya rutam sadeka vilag vilokanena this samadhi you will get sadeva vilokanena when you uh, focus to that sat that truth nirantaram shantamana pratichit and it appears as the shantamana as the blissful calm quiet self whom yetendriya one who has controlled his senses one who has controlled his senses yogasya pratham dwaram vaam nirodho parigraha nirasha cha jiriha cha nityam ekanta shilina the first step towards this control and towards the yoga is control of speech means karmendriyas and then acceptance non acceptance of possessions aparigraha then non entertainment of expectations parigraha is past expectations is future withdrawing from past and future being in the present remove from your ego from your id card past and future there is no you i was this i was this i want to be this i want to be this remove past and future there is no you the ego you may think he is rushing i am rushing because i have spent 45 minutes giving most important thing that thing you listen that's enough ekanta sthiti hi इंद्रियो परमने हेतु दमह चेत संरोधे कर्ण क्षेमेन विलय यायादहम वासना तेनानंदरसानुभूति चला ब्रह्मी ब्राह्मी सदा योगि तस्मात्तरोध सतत कार्य प्रयत्ना मुने देर हि सेट अयत्नता विथट एफर्ट यू विल गेट हेर यू सेस पुट फोर्थ एफर्ट what is that to put forth the effort to control the mind you don't have to put forth the effort to gain the self you have to put forth the effort to prepare the conditions like to sleep you have to drop all efforts including the last thought i want to sleep but to go to that you have to prepare the conditions for sleeping a clean bed a fan and all that so also you have to prepare the mind to go into samadhi through the controls etc indriya uparamana withdrawal and that is called chitta nirodha when you withdraw from the senses mind is regulated or controlled that chitta nirodha is the first step vacham niyatche tatmani te niyatcha buddhe diyam yacha cha butti sakshini तम चापि पूर्णात्म निर्विकल्पे विलाप्य शांतिं परमां भजस्व दिस इज द योगा व्हिच इज सेड इन द थर्ड चैप्टर गीता लास्ट वर्स द चारिय द चारिय होल्ड द रेंज सेंसेस आर कंट्रोल द रेंज ऑफ आर हेल्ड बाय द ड्राइवर चारियटर इंटेलेक्ट हु इज द इंटेलेक्ट योगेश्वर कृष्ण हु इज सीइंग द ट्रूथ if the intellect is focused to truth that intellect can hold the mind properly and those reins that mind held properly control the senses 
So turn your attention to that self, that Paramatma, then you become Yogeshwara Krishna. Deha Pranendriya Muno Buddhyadi Bihi Upadi Bihi Ye Rutyehi Sama Yogastad Bhavosya Yoginaha wherever your mind identifies with various upadi, that form that mind takes, the body, the mind, intellect, or anything. So you have to withdraw from all upadis or conditionings. Vishyan Dhyayata Chittam Vishyesh Upasajati Mam Dhyayata Chittam Mam Eva Praliyati the mind that contemplates on senses, sense objects, takes the form of the sense objects. The mind that contemplates up, upon me, fuses into me. Tan nivrutya munehe samyek sarvo paramanam sukham sam drushyate sadananda rasanubhava viplavaha. It's not a negative state when you withdraw, it is the ocean of bliss. Yanesha sarva bhutanam tasyam jagati samyami. Second chapter of Gita, that which is night to you, the wise man is day to the unwise man. That which is day to the unwise man is night to the Muni. Therefore, withdrawing from the senses is to be with the total bliss. It's not a negative state. Antastyago, Bahistyago, Virakta, Yeva, Yujate, Yajantar, Bahisangam, Viraktas to Mumukshusha. You have to withdraw from not only external objects, from the objects you are imagining in yourself. Objects you are imagining, that's called antaha. That's the other one, external objects, internal objects. Both you have to withdraw. When you can withdraw, how you can withdraw? When you focus to the self. Bhaistu vishayehi sangam tata antara ahamadi bihi virakta yeva shekmoti yekkum brahma nistitaha you can only achieve this when you are established in the self difficult sir yes difficult but you become a bhakta it becomes easy you become a bhakta you are attached to god you have your gradual inclination to the world reduces. As you become a devotee, go down to him. In any way, doesn't matter. Even if it is lustful thoughts, you hold on Krishna. He is so powerful. You hold on with lustful thoughts, but he is so powerful. The lust drops out. You fuse into him. So therefore, devotion is the only means. Vairagya bodo purushasya pachivati pacho vijani hi vichakshanatvam vimukti so vimukti so dhagra lata dirohanam tabyam vina nan yatirena sadhyati sidhyate. If you want to go to the top through a creeper, it's a subtle art like the worm. You need two wings of the bird. One wing is intellect. The other in, uh, the intellect is Vairagya. That is Vairagya, Viveka. Together only you can reach the pinnacle of perfection. And Atyanka Vairagya Vata Samadhi Samahitas Yeva Dhuda Prabodaha Prabuddha Tatvasihi Bandha Muktihi Muktatmano Nitya Sukana Bhutihi. This is the sequence, logical sequence. Atyanka Vairagya Vata Samadhi. One whose mind is in the same steady wisdom, he has to withdraw from external perceptions. And that man whose wisdom is steady, then his knowledge is established in the knowledge. And that man is awakened to the reality and therefore liberated. Vairagyana param sukasigna janakam pasyami vasyatmanaha Tatche Suddha Tarat Atma Bhoda Sahitam Sya Swaraja Samraja Dhuk. That is Vairagya. Then, along with that, knowledge of the scriptures and wisdom. And then you gain the sovereignty over the self. Yetad Dwaram Ajasram Mukti. These are the 
gates to the castle of freedom liberation mukti hi yasma tatva masma param asmat param superior to all these sarvatra hrudaya sadatmane sada prat nipragna puru shreyase sada all the time pragna in that knowledge kuru you to you should focus you should get established in that sarvatra aspruhaya through dispassion to experiences sada atmani but attached to the self attached to the self sada atmani spruha nispruha vakya vrittishu tada you will get samadhi asham chin चिंदी विश विशोपमेशु विषयेश मृत्यो कृति त्यक्तिश्रम आश्रम आश्रम अतिमती मुंच अति दूरा क्रिया देहाद वसती त्यज आत्मी आत्मदिशना प्रज्ञा कुर आत्मनि तम दृष्टा दृष्ट अमलोपि निर्दय परम ब्रह्म ब्रह्म द्रष्टा यू आर दियर अमल फ्री फ्रम ऑल इंप्यूरीटी निर्दय अद्वय परम सुप्रीम ब्रह्म यू आर दैट यदस्तु दट इज युवर एसेंस and therefore you should withdraw from dehado asati from these unreal identifications of body etc teja teja atma dishanam pragnam purusha atmani you focus your knowledge with uh, intellect into that wisdom and what are all the disturbances jati niti kula gotra all that we have seen in 254 now the meditation techniques and that uh, the other th- things that we taught up to 378 anybody can block meditation only those who are doing can do so lalita will take it up from 279 one shloka extra lalita okay one shloka extra Okay thank you all god bless you all thanks everybody how many people to thank starting from harsha who gave the net and kausi lata shilpa yeah huh? how many people bajanis and people who attended thank you all god bless we you have, all we have to thank you sir no all right to thank you all so much no this so much i can't say anything <laughs> We, 